Hi guys and welcome back to a brand new piercing reaction video. Oh my gosh. Okay, so today we're going to be doing something a little bit different than normal and I thought it would be really, really fun to do another one of these reaction to piercings going right. Beautiful piercings, pretty piercings, fun piercings. Have a little bit more of a positive spin on these piercing reaction videos. I know you guys seem to like this one. Um, I've only done one in the past and you really like it. So um, we're going to do a number two. Ooh, we're going to do it. We're going to do a number two. Girl, disgusting. So thank you for everyone who has sent me everything on Instagram. Come follow me on Instagram like normal. Come send me things to react to. But anyway, let's not beat around the bush here and get straight on to the fabulous piercings. So this is absolutely gorgeous. What a fun like piercing. I'm assuming it's just one, like that's the only part that's actually pierced. And this whole bit like the top, it just kind of just wraps around the ear. But that is so cool. I've never seen anything like this before. That's really got like a nice dragon around the ear. Like to me, that, that's like absolutely beautiful. Um, I do wonder how heavy it is. I wonder what it feels like to your ear. Like does it feel really heavy and kind of weighs your ear down a little bit? Um, and I don't know if it's maybe squeezing that part a tiny bit. If I didn't have all of my ear pierced, this is cut like something that I would end up wearing. <laughs> oh, we love a color coordinated queen. This is really nice. I This part here is my favorite with the like the, the helix with the diamond and then like the, the colors above it and below it. Like that's my favorite part of the ear. Um, I do like all the, like the, the like the low piercings kind of going up to the helix, but um, I, the, this top here is definitely my favorite. So I mean, this is this is the photo that kind of went viral like a long, long, long time ago. Now, that's kind of not really the theme with what we're doing, but um, I can pretty much say that that's not real. Everyone, everyone's been sent to me. This, this has been sent to me quite a lot of times. Do you mind? This has been sent to me like a lot of times before, um, but I can pretty much say that it's not real. <laughs> can you be quiet? This is the thing a lot of time with these kind of piercings. A lot of them like are fake, but so many people believe that they're real and like they use them for like video thumbnails and like all this kind of stuff. And it's like, no, you can't put a zip on your tongue. Like you just can't put a zip on your tongue. So this is a four helix spiral. Now this is definitely something you have to get all in one go. They have to kind of measure it up. Like, or I mean, I mean, I guess you could probably get four different ones on their own and try to match them up, but then it wouldn't be like a perfect spiral. It would look a little bit off and like completely lopsided and stuff. So like you'd have to get it all in one go, but this is really, really pretty. I'm not sure how easy this would be to handle because if you're getting it all done in one go because you would have to really like to get four piercings and like that and then having to sleep on that side like I might swell up quite a lot and it is hoops as well so you know it's one of those tricky things where it's like hmm or what they could have done got the bar measured it up got the piercing separately knowing that it will fit it in the end so um that is cool but I do I do think this is really cool like, I really like it now this is a really fun industrial. What a lovely bar. Now th that must have been such a pain to line up, but that looks really cool. Oh, I just realized as well, the, the middle bit goes into this person's conch and out the back as well. But the thought of trying to heal that and get that done is causing me anxiety. The other problem with that as well is obviously it will hold your ear in place. So any kind of movement above here will might be quite painful. Um, but I think it looks really nice. It's, it's a tricky one because these, to make things like this to look gorgeous um, and to be perfect, like you would have to like do it knowing that it was gonna fit that size. You have to like measure up beforehand, then get them all done and then hope for them all heal properly. Like it's, yeah, it's a tricky process. Like this, to get seven piercings all to line up perfectly so this thing can fit in it must be annoying. Oh my God, so what's this? I'm confused what this is. Is that just like, so two sort of kind of like in the conch up the top round that wraps around and then sort of this is inside the ear and it wraps around. I mean, I don't like the fact that that one's kind of wrapping around the, the, the stretcher there because it kind of blocks it. But I do, I've never seen anything like this before. I do think it's really cool. I'm not, yeah, I'm not really too fan of this bottom bit because it's blocking up the plug in the ear. It'd be quite cool if they had one maybe in the middle as well. I mean, you can't, uh, this has to have been just from a photo or something because you could, I mean, she's in, she looks like she's in like a tank top, but like you couldn't have that. Like that would just get, like, just, just, you, I mean, that would just come out and be annoying because you just pull it and knock it all the time. For the photo, for whatever she was doing for this, like, yes, that looks cool. Um, it's very unique. I've never seen anyone do that before with their belly button. Um, most of the kind of like creative piercings that we see are mainly like cartilage piercings and stuff like in the ear. But this is really cool. I really, I think it looks good, but it's just like, that's not something you could, like have and be comfortable with because it would just get pulled all the time. That is so, okay, so this is really cute. I really love this like little flower jewelry. I don't know if that bar, is that? I see what they've done. That's really clever. So 
they've got a bar in the middle, which is going in the helix and sort of in the sort of top conchy bit. And then the jewel on the end is a separate piercing. And the two like leaves that are meant to be either side with little petals on the either side, the leaf stuff, that's two individual piercings as well. And they've just made it all together to be like a flower. That's what I think they've done. I might be wrong, but that's what I think they've done. That's really clever. That's really cute. I think now that I know that that's kind of what they've done, I think it's like, I love it even more. Like that is so cool. That's a lot of fun. I do like that quite a lot. See, I love I love it when people color coordinate stuff like this, or like black and purple, like this is really cool. I do quite enjoy that thing in the middle. I'm not really too sure how, like that's obviously like a made, one, two, three, this is four going in the conch on the inside sort of going out. Um, it'd be interesting to see like how that was done. Like was it done all in one go? Was it done separately? That's really cool. Okay, so I know, I know this isn't piercings, but I saw this and was like, this is so cute. I absolutely love it and I had to put it on this. This just looks, I just love this. I think it just, it just, it just looks cute and cool. I'm assuming this is real tattoo and not just someone's drawn that, but I just think this whole galaxy star thing with the kid and the fox, like I just think all of this is just all together looks cute. I will, I'm not too sure how like the shelf life of it because there's little tiny lines and stuff and little dots, like over time would it fade and not look that great? But at the moment, the way this looks, I think it's super cute. I just had to put it, put it in this video. I just, I just love this so much. A little while ago, we watched someone have a piercing where it was like inside the septum and came out the front of their nose. And apparently this is the video of, well, not the same person, but him, him doing this piercing. So the septum must have been stretched already, I'm assuming. Oh yeah, because it's been stretched. And then he's piercing underneath here, like, I wonder what it's like to know how deep you go. Like, how do you know? I mean, he's got his fingers inside, so maybe he can feel it, but wouldn't he prick his fingers? Oh, see, it went in. See, I would, I'm just scared that it goes too far and then pierce like, oh, you can see it now. So it's kind of like inside. Can I zoom in the video when it's playing? No, I can't zoom in. That's interesting though. Cause I, I never, I never known how that would be done. I was like, how do you do it? And then the bars in the middle, I didn't, see like the bar going in, but that's so interesting. That's so, I, like, it must be such a strange piercing to have. So then it comes up sort of the sort of front bottom of the nose there and it's like in the septum. And these are the photos of it when it's complete. Look at that, like it's on the inside. You can see the top of it in there. Like that, that's, I remember when we first saw this back, what was it? I can't remember how long ago it was we saw one of these piercings. But I was like, how does it get done? How do you do it? Because it must be such a difficult one because it's you can't really see and it's inside, um, but it's really cool. Really, really cool. Ramon, is that actually your name, Ramon? Um, good job, I love it. Oh my God, that is so cool. Guys, okay, so I know this isn't actually in someone's ear, but this is obviously just the piercing. Look how amazing that is. It's an uh, alien from Alien, um, a xenomorph. Like, how cool is that? I would, uh, that's, that, that would be, like, it, that, uh, that's such a cool idea. I I'd be interested to see, like, how big it actually is, but that looks so cool. It's three grand, though, so I'm guessing it would be quite heavy. If it's three grand, it must be, like, silver or something or gold. Like, what's this? Someone pretends to... I mean, sure. Sure, I mean... <laughs> I think when I'm getting a piercing, I was like, can you not kind of play around? Can you just do it? Oh gosh, see that's, that's very different. Like that's, that's interesting. Like how, um, that would have had to, like they would have had to make that afterwards. I guess like the little ball things, if you see that, I think it's like little connected, like there's a ball with a bit of metal sort of like a joint. I don't know, what the, I, I, I'm not a mechanic person. Like it's like a joint that kind of can be, it's like a ball, like a hoover, you know, when you, you can swing it either direction. I'm assuming that's how they managed to fit that because I doubt they would have been able to plan that to begin with. So I get sent these coin slot with the stacked piercings like quite often. So basically what they do is they scalpel out like a slot, almost like a coin slot. And then they've put loads of like ball closure rings or hoops, whatever you want inside there to fill it up. So it makes it look like you've got all of these hoops in there. So if you can see this, if you can see like next to it, you can see like a gap. So there, there is a hole, like a big hole taken out. The only problem with uh, like coin slot kind of piercings is like, because of the way they are, sometimes they can heal really funny and it can be lopsided because you're taking out quite a large section and it's like quite a thin sort of like long line. Long, long, why does it say long like that? It's like a long line. Um, it can heal a bit funny, but I think this is quite cool. I would personally never get that. To be honest, I'm more into the bat that's next to it because I think that's super cute. So I've never seen like anything like this before. So is that like, are the hoops part of it? So I'm guessing it's like a hoop, but on the bottom half of it, they just put like these like horn things, like goat beard stuff. Um, 
I mean, live your laugh, girl. <laughs> so I've never seen piercing bars like this before. Like, what is that made out of? What is that made out of? It's like a, is that like very, is that, I don't know. But that, um, I mean, I would never have that, but that is, I've, I, I've never seen piercing bars like that before. What is that? Is it just like acrylic or is it plastic? See, I, okay, so I really like this as well. I think it's a really cute little thing. Obviously it's, it's a piercing that's been made to look like a zip top. Like I do think that is really cool. Um, now that, that is somewhere you can make it look like you've got a zip. <laughs> But I think that's, I've never actually seen one of them in person before. So I think that I, I really like that. This was sent to me so many times. I was going through the DMs and I was like, this has been sent to me so, so many times. So I'm doing it, girls. I do really like this. I wonder again, like, has it been done together? Was it done knowing that it was going to go there? I, I'd love to know the process of kind of have this, like, was it done all in one go? Would they have, did she have piercings already there? And she was just like, I want to put this in it. Um, but I really like this, it's cool. Okay, so when I first saw this next one, I was a bit triggered and I was like, what the hell is going on here? However, I think this is actually like, like jewelry that's just been shaped like a safety pin. I don't think it's an actual safety pin. Cause if you look here, it's not like a sharp bit. It's just like a blunt kind of end. So I think this is actually safety pin, like jewelry that looks meant to look like a safety pin. Cause as I always say guys, safety pins are not jewelry. The only problem with this kind of stuff is I'd worry that it would get caught because it's like a big hole there now, like looped around. I just worry that I would catch it. This is a really, really, really cool one as well. I love the fact that this is all like, the spacing between all these piercings is like perfect. And when it's like absolutely perfect, it just gives you so much like happy, feel. like when you see it, it's just like so satisfying because it, the gaps and everything, it's so perfectly placed that it, 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 it just, it's just beautiful. I just love it. Oh my God. Again, this isn't actually in a body, but like a chikorita piercing. Can you imagine having a chick? That's really cute. That's really cute. I would love to have different kind of like, sort of Pokemon-y shaped like piercing bars and like, well, the jewelry bits on the end. Like that's really cute. I absolutely love this. I think this is super cute. Here's another Pokemon one as well. Dratini through the ear. That's really cute. I absolutely love that as well. I would wonder what it's made out of it. If it's like good for your ear. Cause sometimes if like acrylic stuff can like, apparently can leak toxins into your body, which is why I stopped wearing it. Um, but I do think this is really cute. So hopefully this isn't anything toxic, but it looks cool. So just before you do run off, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that are coming up. Um, but thank you guys to everyone who has sent me everything. This has been a fun one to do. Like it was nice to kind of break up and do like a little positive spin on everything. Um, and I'm really glad that you've been enjoying the fact that I've been more frequently uploading. I don't know if I'll be able to continue this like obviously for the entire time, whatever, <laughs> however long we're quarantined for. <laughs> but like um, I will be uploading a little bit more frequently than normal just because I want to give you guys a little bit of an escape. And I know it, like myself, I'm, I'm stuck in the house as well, I get bored and I'm like, I just want to do something. So this gives me a nice little thing to focus my time on um, when I have all this extra free time. Um, but I hope you're all doing fabulous. Yes, no, I really enjoy doing this. Some of those things are really cute, like cute. In hindsight, again, like I think I think I said this in the first time I did one, because it was a long time ago, that like I wish I kind of knew that I was going to get as many as I had like piercings that I have now, because I would have maybe like done something like that and had like a really cool industrial or really cool shaped ear like and sort of themed it a little bit better. But obviously, I've been getting piercings now for like 11 years. So I didn't first sort of anticipate I'd have 31. So <laughs> um, I didn't really plan much. I'm sure there's things I could do, but um, I'm, you know, I am happy the way that look as well, but who knows? Who knows what's gonna happen? Maybe in the future I'll be able to do something like that. But yes, guys, fabulous. I hope you're all doing amazing. I hope you're all staying safe, keeping yourself happy, keep yourself busy. Um, again, I know this is a weird time, but we'll get through it, girls. <sighs> Oh my gosh. Anyway, yes, as always, guys, please hit the like button. This really, really help me out. Share with all your friends and all that good kind of stuff. Links to everything, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all that linked is down below. Come follow me, come subscribe, come say hi. We'll have a chatty waddy. Um, and as always, guys, be first amazing, be gay, be everything you want to be. Is any bitch that tell you that you can't be you? Why is that? Because you are flawless.